Not one, but two VMA attendees paid homage to the iconic Britney Spears 2001 snake look, and PETA is not happy about it. From Reach TV Studios, you're watching What's Trending. I'm Casey Spivey. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more social media news daily, and ring the bell to stay updated with our videos. Tana Mojo is now a part of the MTV family. With the completion of her show, Tana turns 21, and as such, she went along to the VMA Awards along with her friends. Tana stepped up her fashion game from her 2018 VMA look with a live snake named Lucy. Tana said, OMG VMAs on my way to my favorite city in the world. Another year in a row. I never thought I'd be invited to the VMAs once, let alone twice. I never thought standing on that carpet last year, 365 days later, I'd have a show with MTV and a season under my belt. My life was so different a year ago and I was probably standing in this terminal waiting to board that flight, thinking how different it was the year prior to that moment. Crazy to grasp the most constant thing in my world in the last year was attending the VMAs. And she's right. In just one year, Tana has had a failed convention, recovered from it, accepted an award for Shane Dawson's documentary about it, got married to Jake Paul, had an MTV show, and repaired her relationship with VidCon. Rachel said, the devil works hard, but Jordan Warona, Tana's manager, works harder. Tana embraces everything about being controversial, and this year's VMAs is no different. Both Tana and her decided to channel Britney Spears' iconic 2001 snake look this year for the red carpet. Tana told Hollywood Life, The look was definitely inspired by her, but I would not even try to say I'm paying tribute or anything like that, because she's way too iconic. I'm way too bootleg. Britney, I'm so sorry. And while many fans praised Tana for taking a risk like that, some animal lovers were not too happy. PETA tweeted, Attention Tana Mojo and her. Snakes don't deserve to be put through the stress of confinement, bright lights, and loud noises just for clout. Animals aren't jewelry or accessories, and dead or alive should not be worn on the red carpet. Snakes may not display stress and discomfort as obviously as other species do. They don't whine or flinch the way a dog might but constant handling leaves them prone to illness and injury. These snakes should be exploring lush jungles and swamps and experiencing all the pleasures they're so keenly attuned to, not being treated as living props and put through the stress of travel, confinement, confusing conditions, bright lights, and loud noises all for a cheap photo op. PETA hopes celebrities take notice of the backlash from fans and make compassionate fashion choices in the future. Tana told Fox News the snake company that I'm working with, all of the proceeds and the money that they earn goes to rescuing a lot of snakes, especially here on the East Coast. It's really cool and I'm super happy to be working with them. So what do you think? Is it okay to bring a snake on the red carpet? Let us know in the comment section and for more of What's Trending, head to What's Trending.com. You can also check us out on Roku, Amazon Fire, and Apple TV. Just search What's Trending.